Good afternoon and welcome. It is Monday, May 6th, and I am finally back. Um, so if you've made your way here, it is Pat's stamping place. And last week we had more technical problems. So um, fingers crossed that this week it's going to work again. Um, I found that I had to unplug my modem and router and reset them. So maybe that's the problem. So, um, which was kind of an easy fix. It's just not something I always want to do. So if you're here, let me know and we will get started shortly. Um, trying to <laughs> decide whether I want to sit or stand and make sure that you can see me. I don't think I can get my little contraption here any higher. So, um, Wow, we're almost through the first week of May. And let me flip you down to my desktop because now, after all this time, um, I can show you the inside of this annual catalog. Um, before I do that, I do want to show you the few cards that I made last week. And I will get back to um, sharing uh, let me zoom in here a little bit if I can. Uh, sharing this suite of products, um, the mass, the layering dies. Um, I did get a little like three or four minute video done, but I could not think get things down to where my hands were. So um, this was one of the cards, and this one is not doing any stamping, just doing the um, layering dies on there. Here's another one. And now that I'm showing this, I've got to get these happy anniversary cards off in the mail. Um, here's another one I may have made since last week. with Just a little hello card. Um, and it, it's so much fun. If you've not tried the layering stencils, you really need to add those to your stash. And then this was a quick and simple one. You make my heart happy. And all of those are from that suite of products. Okay, um, let me set those aside. So now I can show you the inside of the catalog after a couple months of being able to show products from it. And it is smaller this year. There are only... 144 pages in there um, and it's a little bit different there are um, QR codes that link you back to the website um, please make sure if you link back to the website through one of these QR codes that you end up um, finding my site if you want to um, it's missing a couple things that we were used to, but all of the things can be found online um, in the online store. One thing that is really cool is there's lots of information about color and color theory. And this is a color wheel that includes all of our colors, the Stampin' Up! colors. I don't know if you can see that with the glare there a little bit. And some teaching moments here on what monochromatic is, complementary, analogous, and triadic. And that was actually a color word that I've never really heard before, but I guess it does make sense. Um, I love monochromatic cards. They make quick and easy, not have to worry about whether or not you're putting things together the right way. But with Stampin' Up! you always have color combinations throughout the catalog on the back of designer paper and everything that is printed there will go together. Even if you don't think it looks good, it looks good together. So this is a real plus. Um, people who went to a recent event with Stampin' Up! got a real one of these that really turns around. Um, but this will really serve a lot of purposes for helping you decide what you like and what you um, think will go together. Um, 
one thing that is missing in the back is all of the dies that we were so used to looking at. Um, if you're interested, I could make something up and get that to you, but they're all here throughout the catalog. There is a pretty good index here that's a little bit different um, that shows um, adhesives, embellishments. All the dies are listed here and where they are in the catalog. Um, embossing folders, inks and colorings. Here's embossing heat and um, paste. All of the stamp sets are listed over here. And I find myself using the index of the catalog a lot, um, just until I get used to it. So I've had a chance to look through it a lot and have become used to the new format. So it is a little bit different. And with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and get started um, with today's project. I don't see anybody hopping on yet. And I do have a green light and everything's working. So if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and like. And if you are returning and catching me on the replay, I really appreciate that too. So what am I doing today? Um, I selected, because this was one of the things I could order on our pre-order um, in April, and it's called the Thoughtful Journey Suite. And oh my goodness, it's, it's everything that you need. You have friends thinking of you, thanks, appreciate. You've got some a stamp set, dies that coordinate with some extra dies there. Um, this designer paper that I'll show you in a second is absolutely breathtaking. You don't even want to cut into it because the other side is just as pretty. We also have, which I have not cut into yet. Um, wait a minute. This paper. Okay, I've not cut into this one yet. And it's called Thoughtful Designs 12 by 12 Specialty Paper. And it's an ombre look. And it's one-sided because most of the specialty papers are. So it's single-sided. And here are the colors here. And I'll tell you the colors in a second. Oh, look at those greens. And look at that. In addition, we have five new in colors this year, which over, I think the past month, I was able to show a few of those. Um, we have Petunia Pop. I have trouble saying that, so that's why I hesitated there a little bit. Petunia Pop, light and dark on those. Um, pretty in pink, which is a returning color. But now it's an in color. We had it a long time ago and hated for it to go. We have Shy Shamrock. And we have Peach Pie. And we have, I don't have them all memorized yet, Summer Splash, which is another green. So I just selected the colors of these. Wonderful. I'm going to be using the light peach peach pie today um, but let me show you this beautiful designer series paper it is just stunning with this all watercolored look on one side and let me flip this over just a second. The colors are Blackberry Bliss, Boho Blue, Cajun Craze, Calypso Coral, Lost Lagoon, Misty Moonlight, Mossy Meadow, Peach Pie, Petunia Pop. That is a tongue twister for me. I hope I don't mess that up. 
um, Pool Party, Pretty Peacock, and Wild Wheat. And I've pulled out Wild Wheat today. It's one of our in colors that we'll have now for another year. And paired it with Lost Lagoon. Oh my goodness. It's amazing what you can come up with when you see the colors that are in some of the papers. And then you put them together. So there's that one. And there's four of each one. Oh, just gorgeous. So I've got a simple, what I would call a monochromatic card today. And then I've got a fun fold for you. And here, this one pulls in Cajun Craze. Always one of my favorite colors. You think of it more as fall, but it works with the one that I'm going to make. There's that, and this, there's that wild wheat. So let your designer paper help you figure out what colors you might want to put together. Oh, this one I just love. There's the wild wheat. And when we first got that a year ago, it didn't really grow on me a whole lot. Um, let's see, I think I've used one of those. Oh, look at that. Oh, is that just gorgeous or what? This looks like it could be framed. Here's another one. Here's one, I think I've used one of those. There we go, used a couple of those. Here's one. Oh, awesome. And here's one. So you've got an array of colors that you can use for just about anything. Look at that. Oh. Oh, goodness. Be still my heart. You're so pretty. Okay, I got a big binder clip to put on here to keep these all together. Okay, here are the dies that are in this set. And. I'm also going to use my favorite stylish shapes too. And this is the stamp set that goes with this. So let's move on. Okay, this is the first card that I'm going to do. Um, it is very simple, um, just kind of some white on white. And we've got a brand new color called Basic Beige. And, oh, it that's what I've got on here. It looks so good. I'm gonna be using that. All right. So with this one, let's pull out my pieces. I've already got some things cut. There's our envelope. And I'm using a piece of thick basic white that is five and a half by eight and a half folded and scored and folded at four and a quarter. This little piece I've already cut out of the leaves. Let's set that there. And then I have a piece of basic white that is four, um, four by five and a quarter. So let's start with my large blending brush and I'm going to pull in some Lemon Lolly. It's a color I haven't used too much, but it's a good soft yellow. Get that out of the way so I don't get color on it before I want to. And I'm just gonna tap some of that off and kind of go into the middle here. And this is a very soft yellow. Always tap some off so that you can get those 
harsh lines off of there. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to take the new basic beige and this large stamp, just a leafy thing, um, I'm going to stamp twice. I think I got all that on there. Sometimes it's easier if you just take that and turn it over. So this would make just a great uh, thinking of you or even a good sympathy card. I'm gonna make it a happy birthday card. But I like that subtle look uh, rather than using, um, well, even early espresso or basic gray. It's just a good, good color. So there we've got that. Very simple. And now I'm going to die cut. Let's get my die cuts here. This one, the other way. And this one. Just die cut those on a scrap of basic white. Oops, make sure they're not touching each other. So I hope you're having a good start to the week and you had a great weekend. Leave me a comment. I don't see anybody is connected yet. Um, so I guess I'm just talking until I see somebody or catch the replay. Either one is okay. And I'm just leaving these basic white um, and I'll add a touch of color to this one. And I'm going to grab my pokey tool out of my take a pick tool. And very carefully pull that out. It's just going to lay on there like that. And this one already came out okay. okay I'm just going to grab some liquid glue and just add little dots of it. Um, And some of it's going to get covered up anyway, so it doesn't make any difference if I don't have the whole, whole thing on there. I mean, if I don't have the whole thing covered with glue. Well, I guess I didn't get too much on there. Let's try it this way. Sometimes with the lighting on here, maybe I didn't get any on there. I don't think I did. Let's try it another way. There we go. 
just some dots of glue on the end of these little leaves. That's better. And then on this one, I'm just going to add with some light peach pie. Ooh, peaches will be in season pretty soon. Doesn't that sound good? Um, I'm just going to add touches of that to the to the little flowers on here. No extra green or anything else. This will just add a little bit of color to the card. Um, And I'm using the Stampin' Blend, and what did I say? The Light Peach. And a little bit up here. And let's add some liquid adhesive to that. might be that I need to go get another, oops, that one came out a little bit too much. Ooh, that's going to ooze out of there. Okay, I'm afraid that's going to ooze out. Let me grab a scrap. Kind of wipe that off of there. Okay. And that's going to go like right there. Turn it over and see if I can get that to adhere a little bit better. There we go. Now, in this set, there is the cutest little splatter stamp that I just love. I'm sure I'm going to use that on other cards besides things using this set. And just add... I'm stamping off and then getting some other full generation of this. Just adds a little bit more dimension to this. Okay, now here comes our circle. And for this one, I'm using a new happy birthday sentiment from Unbounded Love. And this is in, what page is that on? I think I marked it. Um, yeah, This is on page 54 in the catalog. And it's a stamp set with all of these different dies. So I'll be showing those another time. Um, I only have part of this. I don't have the whole suite of this. But I have this and this and some of that paper and stuff. Um, so that will come. But I love this happy birthday sentiment. It's not too big. It's not too little. It's just right. Um, and for that, I'm going to pull in Early Espresso.
Yes. Beautiful. And then these two little leaves are going to stick out here at the bottom. So with that, I'm just going to use um, wherever they went some dimensionals to adhere this, and I'll use a dimensional to hold down those little leaves. I'm not going to put any extra glue on there with those. And let's put one in the middle so it doesn't fall down. There we go. And I believe I said I'm using thick basic white on this, so it's just white on white. And let's use the liquid glue again. Let's grab an envelope. And put this on the outside. And add some of these little splatters too. Don't want to have a naked envelope. That's always been my, my theory. No naked envelopes. So here's my original one, and here's the one I just did. They're pretty much the same. Okay, let's move on. I've got a cute fun fold for you. I'm not sure if I did this one before. I didn't look back um, far enough. I may have. Um, I'll show you the original and then stick around till the end and I do have two other samples to show you. Okay, this is the original card that I made this morning and I've already added some of that luscious designer paper to the envelope and put that on the front. Um, I don't know what the name of this is and I cannot for the life of me remember where I got it or if it even has a name. Um, but it allows you to see both the inside, or the one side and the outside of the designer paper. Because um, you sure hate to cover that up. So it's just like a little fun fold with a flap. And there's plenty of room to write on the inside. You could probably even attach a gift card to this side as well and make it good. Now I've got a die cut here, um, another little circle with thanks from the stamp set, and away we go. Um, oh, this one I used Lost Lagoon, another color I haven't used in a while, and here's the Wild Wheat, and they just look stunning together. So on my sample is that one, and then this one Get all my pieces out here. I'm using Cajun Craze, and this is four and a quarter by five and a half. So because you've got the part that opens, you don't need this to open. 
So this is just a plain card base. And on top of that is going to go this piece. And this is, if you want to write this down, I trim this down to five, five and three quarters. by five and a quarter, because we make most of our cards the five and a quarter, but this is five and three quarters, and then it is scored at one and three quarters. Okay, so I'll write that down. Five and three quarters by five and a quarter. And scored at, I believe I said one, one and three quarters. So you can see both sides. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue that on. See how pretty that is on the other side? Oh my goodness, it's just stunning but we see a little bit of it here. And that gives us a nice little border around the edge. Okay, so let's set that aside. And then this piece of wild wheat is five and a half. So let's call that the card, what are we going to call that? Card flap? Is five and a half by four and it's scored right in the middle at two and three quarters. And then this will have two pieces here to go on the inside. So we'll go ahead and glue those in. So this looks like a difficult, detailed fun fold, but it's not. It's just got some pieces parts that need to be cut. And allows you to show off that designer paper. And it's actually going to open from the right side. So you wanna get that going in the right direction when you add your designer paper here in the front. So it opens from the right. That looks a little bit crooked. Eh. Okay, now I could put this on either way, but because I've got the, um, the darker color with the Cajun craze, I'm gonna go with this side on the front. instead of the lighter colors on the back. They're both pretty and I think they would both look good. But I just, I like this with the wild wheat and the, the Cajun craze. And that's gonna get glued down like that. 
let's go ahead and do that. Just be mindful that you put it in so that it opens from the right. And it's about the same distance from here as it is on the other sides. Now, I already have this cut out. Whoops, I must have stamped something else on the other side of that, but I used the other side. That's the best part of it. We've got two sides to the paper. Um, but I want to show you how I colored that in. So I'm going to stamp this again in Mossy Meadow. Because that's one of the colors in there too. And since this had the lighter color of the basic beige on there, I didn't bother to clean it because um, it, it won't muddy this, this up. Let's see, did I grab a big enough piece? I did not. I've got scraps over here. Okay, to get the color there, because I didn't want to use blends, which are a little bit too harsh for what I want it to look like. Um, we've got this, and then I'm taking my Wink of Stella. And yes, we still have Wink of Stella. You might have trouble finding it in the catalog, but I can show you where it is. Um, and because this is still wet enough, I can color that in. Let me zoom a little bit so you can see a little bit better. I can color that in and it pulls the color from the ink that I've already used. And it also gives it some glimmer from the Wink of Stella. So I'm not going to take the time to show or to color all of these in. That's why I have one already ready to go. Um, but eh, let's go ahead and do it because once this dries, um, I wouldn't be able to pull that color in. So you do that while it's still a little on the wet side. There, that's good enough. And then I can cut that out or I could use that just as a card front if I want to. Okay, here's the lid for that, but I already have one cut. So let's add that to the front of the card. And even though there's not a lot of green here, there's green over here, there's the wild wheat, it does go well. Okay, move some things out of the way. And this has a little bit easier to add adhesive to this. Because it's got bigger pieces on it. Okay, let's add that there. And here's another little circle from Stylish Shapes. Could not live without that. And I'm going to also stamp that in Mossy Meadow. Just a simple thanks. Oh, 
uh, let's see. I guess I didn't bring my twine over here. So here's some twine from the twine pack and tie a little double bow. It's a little ragged on the end, but that works. And I'll do the same thing with this. Add a dimensional. Now that is a little bit thick there. Let's add some glue there. Okay, it wants to stick. It doesn't want to cooperate at all. Put that right there and these are not necessarily the good ribbon cutting scissors to get that scraggly end off of there and let's grab some brushed brass butterflies they stayed around and so so happy um, I had put those on my sample. And let's put a little one here. And don't think I did, no, I did not. So let's add um, Mossy Meadow to the envelope on this one. So there we go. That one's there. Here is the sample. Which one do you like better? Cajun Craze. Let's turn that over. The Cajun Craze or the Lost Lagoon, both with the wild wheat. I think they're both pretty stunning, if you ask me. So there's that one. And here's this one today. So you got a two for today. So I hope that caught up with uh, my techie stuff last week. I so apologize. So let me show you two other samples that I came up with from this set. This is one of the stamps in the set is this little floral image here. So here's this cute little one. And for this one, I took some of the paper from the in color designer series paper. So here we've got pretty in pink, peach, 
I'm getting the, my greens mixed up. So I don't know if this is the, whatever. Um, Summer Splash. Here's the pop, Petunia Pop. And this is the Shamrock one. So sometimes it takes a while to get those taken care of. And then I just used a blend just to add some little dots at the end. And here I colored in with blends of, um, let's see. Uh, I used the Petunia and forgot which other colors I used on this that all kind of coordinated together. So there's that one. And then this is this die cut out of black and then also cut out of the petunia pop and then put back in and inlaid. So I still have the black one that I can use for another project. And then that went in there and then at the bottom, a million thanks and some little gems there. So a very simple, simple card. So that's it for today. I'm not sure if anybody was watching um, live. That's okay. Please catch the replay. And hopefully I'll see you next week with no glitches. And um, take care. Have a great rest of the week. I think the weather's supposed to be absolutely super. And I will see you then. Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.